This is a brief look in detail at an inline roller crimper, a machine I first read about in a paper by Stefano Canali of the CRA Institute in Italy, and I had the opportunity to go there to meet him. The machine you're going to see in this film are recorded on a CRA research site at Metaponto in the Basilicata region of southern Italy. In practice, a cover crop has the crimper roll over it before there's any viable seed, and the second run of the machine cuts foot rows for vegetable seedlings to be transplanted into. So we're going to test the roller crimper. This is not the usual situation. They're doing this just because I've come and I've asked them because I need to see it moving. And they have very kindly agreed. <laughs> would normally do this in the spring and of course the crop would be green. So first of all, it goes that way. Yeah. So, I, I will show you why. Oops. Uh, well, the first, the first way is at about eight kilometers per hour. Okay. The second one with the uh, the knife and the disc will do at two kilometers per, okay. per hour. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's a bello. And so this is the furrow for the transplant. Yeah, this is, this is probably too shallow, no? Yeah. But this is different, can be adjusted. So yeah. now probably we can decide to move it a little bit. Yeah, better. yeah. No? Because this is uh, something that you have adjust uh, case by case. Figure out which, which is the best fine tuning of yeah. the regulation. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So we are trying to move the angle of in which this uh, disc yeah. is um, uh, is installed here. Yeah. And uh, when we have when they have uh, made the, the the machine, they have prepared. Um, different uh, positions so yeah. it's possible to, to, to regulate to fine-tune yes. the, the machine according to the different yeah. conditions yeah. Yeah. and this is very important yeah. because uh, 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 machine itself uh, is work works works well if you have the, the possibility if you have the chance to fine-tune it uh, in, uh, in, in in any condition in any specific yes. condition because you know it depends on the kind of cover crop you are flattening it depends yes. on the soil yes. how much the soil is uh, yes. uh, dry or wet uh, yeah. that's the perfect job yeah. If, if the machine works like that, without uh, uh, moving the mulch, yes. that's, that's the ideal solution. So that's the idea behind um, dropping the discs down, was to make sure it cut the crop. Exactly. Yeah. 25 centimeters. And you can, so uh, you can uh, listen to the, 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 the engine the less than one feet. Yeah. The tractor ne never, the engine is, is never uh, it's not laboring, it's, it's not working very hard. Exactly. Yeah. This is the reason why. Because know, it's not pulling a, a huge amount of soil. No, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah.
Vabbè, certo, ci sono dei punti dove sei di tappa, non è un problema. Yeah. No, right, ok, just for the record, it's my fault apparently that we're in southern Italy in the middle of summer and it's raining. It didn't rain for very long. So digging down into the soil we can see the gap opened up by the foot and over here. This machine is part of a research project looking at mulch use with organic vegetable production in Italy. I'd now like to see if it can be determined if the inline roller crimper would be appropriate for use in the UK. That's the perfect job.